dances with darkness Through a city that never used to sleep A ghost kissing right on the sea train sort of slowed down a little bit as far as the traveling goes and I've sort of I'm planning you know uh, my feet down a little bit and on this record it's a little more I don't know it's, it's sort of concentrating on the vision and the sound of the record as opposed to like what the what it's going to be about or this or that just let it sort of stop for a second and let it come to me uh, and I think that's what the, the big difference was between making Coyote and this one for sure I think I was really a lot more transient back then which is really good for coming up with song ideas and stuff, but hard uh, also for, it's like a certain kind of song you write when you live that lifestyle. Yeah, like it started when Matt was in LA just working on his own, you know, working on a bunch of different songs and gave me a call. And, and actually uh, we, one time we were in New York at, the, at, a, at a place and we really conceived of having this record and then we had it all figured out and Lowell was taking a, a piss and then he just said, Matt, we're, uh, we're gonna need some songs though, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you toured Coyote for a couple of years, and then yeah. we kind of, you know, connected, and we were in New York at the same time. And yeah, yeah, we had real good serendipity with that. Mm. We'd be like in the same town, or we'd come through, totally. you know, yeah, like yeah. I'd be like, "What? You're uh -huh. here in Toronto? I have the week off. You're the week off. The studio's open." And it was really the record kind of just came to us. Yeah, really. it like kind of made itself in a way. Yeah. Like, as far as making time for it, it just which I, I've learned this process is that that's how you do it. Like if you're just like scratching your head and pulling your hair out, you're probably not going to get what you're probably looking for. Whereas this was an album that we actually heard in our heads and actually got out because I think the, the, the God sort of handed it to us a little bit, I think. Yeah. Because yeah. We only did it with a few microphones and a, a duet and right into Lowell's computer. And then, yeah, there's uh, lots of restrictions actually, which was good when it, you know, it came, when it came to Matt's songwriting, it's like, yeah, you know, when you have restrictions like that, you gotta make sure the tunes, like, you know, yeah, really we made great, sure so. that like the, the 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 guitars were nice and the amps were nice, or the guitar was nice and the amp was nice, we, and the and the drum set was nice, and then the rest we just sort of kind of uh, did on the fly, and it was just it became all about the songs at that point, and I think that's why we're pretty proud of it because that's what we put most of our attention towards. I think easy when you work with somebody like Matt because you know you can you know you, there's time to experiment and there's time to kind of you know flush things out and it's just effortless for him so it's i don't know like it's just like it's amazing you know he, and he's a, a fantastic singer so it's just like i felt really lucky to be able to work with somebody like him yeah we put a lot of work in like a lot you know and it's nice to to see it done and i think i think we'll speak for both of us when i say we're extremely proud of it and proud of each other and it brought us closer together you know even though it took five years to get this done <laughs> Still fly, our doves still sing 